All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky. And in today's video, we have to cover a bit of controversy. A Bungie dev has actually responded to a huge controversy in regards to Activision Blizzard being sued by the state of California over harassment, sexual harassment and a frat boy culture. Now, this was Bungie dev and community manager DMG. He tweets out saying this, once again, a wake-up call illustrating a horrific culture that breeds abuse and harassment, negatively impacting women throughout the gaming industry. Privilege is a real thing and isn't always negative. Use yours to help solve the problem. He then goes on to tweet out saying, it's hard for, for folks earlier in their careers to do this, let alone those experiencing harassment firsthand. Fear and anxiety of retaliation is a real thing. Let your coworkers know you're there for them and stand up for them. When they don't feel comfortable enough to speak and then the last thing he posts is once again take time to listen to women as they share their stories educate yourself through the ample resources available online this cannot continue it never should have been allowed in the first place so some really heavy words from dmg there and this is in response directly to this article that was posted and this huge controversy scandal that's going on right now there's going to be a huge lawsuit has been a two-year-long investigation it's very crazy. It's way crazier than it even sounds. In fact, I will read some of this for you. I'll read about halfway through this article and give you an illustration to understand just how crazy this is, okay? Video game giant Activision Blizzard Incorporated, maker of games including World of Warcraft, Diablo, fosters a frat boy culture in which female employees are subjected to constant sexual <laughs> harassment, unequal pay, and retaliation, according to a lawsuit filed by the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing. So some pretty serious allegations, right? A two-year investigation by the state agency found that the company discriminated against female employees in terms of conditions of employment, including compensation, assignment, promotion, and termination. Company leadership consistently failed to take steps to prevent discrimination, harassment, and retaliation, the agency said. According to the complaint, filed Tuesday in the Los Angeles Superior Court, female employees make up around 20% of the Activision workforce and are subjected to a pervasive frat boy workplace culture, including cube crawls in which male employees drink copious amounts of alcohol as they crawl their way through various cubicles in the office and often engage in inappropriate behavior toward female employees. What the hell is going on? Why, why is that happening? And why is that being allowed in any capacity? The agency alleges male employees play video games during the workday while delegating responsibility to female employees, engage in sexual banter, and joke openly about rape, among other things. Female employees allege being held back from promotions because of the possibility they might become pregnant, being criticized for leaving to pick their children up from daycare, and being kicked out of lactation rooms so male colleagues could use the room for meetings, the complaint says. Female employees working for the World of Warcraft team noted that male employees and supervisors would hit on them, make derogatory comments about rape, and otherwise engage in demeaning behavior, the agency alleges. And the last bit I'm read for you, if that wasn't crazy enough, the suit also points to a female Activision employee who took her own life while on a company trip with her male supervisor. The employee had been subjected to intense sexual harassment prior to her death, including having nude photos passed around at a company holiday party, the complaint says. What the actual fuck? This is insane. This is terrible to hear about. I can't believe that Activision and Blizzard were fostering a work environment like this. Now, obviously, this is going to go to court. Who knows how all of this is going to turn out? But it sounds like with the number of complaints, this sounds like this something was bad was brewing there. Very sad to see that this happened. Happy to see a Bungie dev standing up for what's right and speaking out against this, obviously. They had a previous relationship with Activision. Those ties are now cut, and Activision hasn't really been doing any favors for themselves ever since those ties have been cut. They've definitely built a pretty sad name around themselves. And this right here just adds to that poor management from that company in regards to how they're handling their female employees. A little more of a drab news story, I know, but one that needed to be delivered to you because this was definitely big news today. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on if you want to stay up to date on all things Destiny 2, and in the gaming news world in general. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.